Well, you probably never would have guessed, but when I went to high school and learned to keyboard, we didn't even call it keyboarding then. We called it typing. In fact, we didn't even have computers then. It was a few years after I graduated high school before I actually started to use a computer. So I learned to type or to keyboard on a manual typewriter. And some of the habits that I learned on that manual typewriter I keep with me. Uh, some of them I fortunately broke, uh, like pressing the carriage return at the end of every line. You definitely don't want to do that when you're using Microsoft Word. Only at the end of your paragraphs but there's a few things that I learned to do by myself uh, in my typewriter days that Microsoft Word does for me automatically and I kind of find those a little bit annoying and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about when that's when it comes to the default settings for line and paragraph spacing now let me give an example this is a document uh, that I just started here let's just assume that I type book review and when I pressed enter one time I automatically got that extra space I find that a little annoying I want to be in charge I want to decide when I get the spaces and when I don't. Same thing here when I got done typing this first paragraph and I'll just show you here notice how it gives me an extra space there. Well maybe I want that maybe I don't but again if I want to be in charge I like to see those additional carriage returns so to speak or paragraph marks as Microsoft Word calls them between each of the paragraphs and you'll see that the blank lines do not show that for me and uh, again to do that I just went to the home tab and I turned on this uh, show paragraph marks and you can see that each and every time that I have hit the enter key I want to see an extra paragraph here I, I, maybe I'm just weird uh, but that's just the way the way I like it and so I changed my defaults when I'm using Microsoft Word. Now the way I can change the defaults, I, I can do that permanently and when I say the word default I mean so that I'm changing the normal template so that every time I open up a new document it comes in with the settings that I want. If I just wanted to change it for this one document, I pretty much do it the same way. Uh, there's just one little button that I'll hit at the end that says make this the default. Now let me give an example of what I'm talking about here. So first off, I'm going to select the whole document. Now it isn't real obvious because there's such a small line spacing setting here, but this is truly not single spacing. Um, Microsoft Word in, in the newer versions of Word, and, and this is where you're going to find this, I think it's probably anything from about 2010 and above, you'll find out that it adds these extra spaces in the lines and the extra spaces in the paragraphs. So if I go to line spacing on the home tab and I change it to single, you'll see that it isn't single but if I do you'll notice that it does take up just a little bit less space for each of the paragraphs. Now I'm going to go ahead and undo that and I'm going to show you how I can change it uh, where I can actually put it in a specific setting and I can also see what Microsoft Word has put in for the defaults. So I'm going to launch the paragraph settings dialog box. So on the home tab in the paragraph uh, group here I'll go ahead and click on this launcher here all right, and I see the paragraph uh, dialog box and I see the default settings that Microsoft Word has. First, let's talk about line spacing. It has set the line spacing by default. Again, every time I open up a new document using the normal template, I end up with multiple spacing. And instead of being just simply single spacing, it is 1.08. So just a slight uh, little extra that it adds in between each of the uh, in, in between each of the lines. I would really rather have that as single spaced. That way if I make it double spaced, it's double spaced. I'm going to go ahead and click OK here. Again, you'll see the same change that you saw before. The other thing, and this is the thing that really annoys me, is the, the extra lines that Microsoft Word automatically adds. And it does that with paragraph spacing. By default, the paragraph spacing that Microsoft Word has in the normal template is zero points before and eight points after. So every time I press Enter, I get that extra line. And again, I you know, I like to be in charge. I like to see those paragraph marks. I don't get a paragraph mark. It's just because Microsoft Word added the extra spacing. Now I'm going to change that to zero because again, I want to be in charge. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now when I do that, you can see that there is no additional spacing between my paragraphs. And if I want to add the extra line, I can do that. Now again, because I like to be in charge, and I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, this is just something I like to do here, I can actually see those paragraph marks between each paragraph. I know that I've hit the enter key an extra time to give me that blank line. And if I don't want that, I can just delete that paragraph mark. All right, I'm gonna turn off the paragraph marks. And the only other thing I want to show you here is let's say you're like me and you really like this setting by default. 
In other words, every time you open up a new document, you want the settings to be exactly what you see here. Zero points before, zero points after, and single spacing, not multiple spacing with 1.08 spacing. Well, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is click on this set as default button here. So I'll go ahead and click that. All right, it says now, do I want it for this document only or do I want it for all the documents based on the normal template here? I want it on all of them. The next time I open up a new document, that's what I want to see. I don't want the eight points between them. So I go ahead and click OK. All right, it's that easy. Now let's go ahead and test it here. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to choose New. And I go to the Paragraph Settings here. And there they are, 0, 0, and Single Spacing. All right, so that's how easy it is to do. You can set the default settings uh, either for just the one document by going into the paragraph uh, dialog box there, or you can set it permanently for the normal template. All right, well, hopefully you like this video. Uh, you will find step-by-step -step instructions and several other videos and additional resources on my website, luthermaddy.com. Uh, consider subscribing as well, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.